Close your eyes and watch your breath. And as for any thoughts that go any place else, you don't have to follow them. You don't have to get involved. We have to remember that just because a thought comes into the mind doesn't mean it's worthy of our attention. We think of the nervous system as our warning system, and things get set up the system, but sometimes just garbage gets sent up the system, information we don't really need. And it's been processed and turned into thoughts that we don't really need. So for the time being, anything that's not related to the breath, anything that's not related to the mind, just put it aside. When you do a short meditation like this, it's good to be extra strict with yourself. Have, nope, 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 not anything else, nothing else, just the breath, just the breath. And you want that to become a habit. Otherwise, something sneaks in, like the story of the camel that wanted to get into the tent. First it's just its nostrils, then the rest of its muzzle, then its head. Finally the whole camel was in the tent. These thoughts come in, they seem so innocent and gentle. The image they have in the canon is of a tender vine, and its tendrils are soft and downy. And as they touch the tree, the tree says it feels soft and nice, these, ten, these soft, downy tendrils. But then the vine grows and grows and grows and finally strangles the whole tree. So watch out for the little thoughts that come in. You have to be really strict with the mind. Otherwise, an idea comes in. And you can change direction 180 degrees very quickly. You're going towards what's skillful and suddenly find yourself going toward what's not skillful. So watch out for the little thoughts that come into the mind. Don't take little things and make them into big things, and don't let them grow into big things. And don't let the little things have even a chance to come in, because once they come in they can establish the little roots, and then the roots go deeper and deeper. So you have to be vigilant. You have to be alert. You have to be uncomplacent. As the Buddha said, all skillful qualities have their root in un uncomplacency, in heedfulness. And you can't overlook the little things. As John Munn used to say, it's very rare that people get whole pieces of wood in their eyes. but. It's, Sawdust can get in the eye easily and it can blind you. So watch out for the little things that come creeping into the mind. Be careful to let in only the things that are really worthwhile. This is what mindfulness, your gatekeeper, should be doing all the time. And teach them to be strict. That's why these short meditations are good. That's why you say, over well, five minutes I'm going to be really strict. And then over a while that can become a habit. So it works for longer meditations as well.